Alright, what is going on, everybody? Hey. It is Pixmarters here, and welcome back to Apollo Justice Ace Tournament. We left off. We're getting a shit ton of evidence thrown on us now. Yeah. They're giving us guitars and igniters and blueprints. He's dropping on the album. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, anyways, you want to go ahead and say that line that was right there? That's right. What was that all about? Well, you know how guitars have a round hole in the front? Yes. It is called the sound hole. That's what it's called. Oh, so that's what it's called. That's what it's called? <laughs> Uh, I didn't think it was called that, but I guess it is. Weird. I don't play acoustics very often. So. No. Well, they found something attached to the wood just inside the hole. A broken device of some sort. A broken device? Yes. You mean this? <laughs> this, in fact. Uh. The examiner is busy with evidence for the case now, however. So he'll be checking this out once he's finished with everything else. Hmm. Ah, that device looks strangely familiar. Only too much familiar. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and just... Uh, let's let's go ahead and talk about the other thing first. Yeah. The strange lamp then will set his hands on fire. <laughs> this was found in Miss Latusa's bag. It's apparently a replica of something. A replica? It's a small lump about an inch and a half long. We analyzed it. There's not much to say other than it's a lump of plastic. Why does it look like a fingerprint? Well, I mean, there's more. I see what you mean because the 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 circleness of it. Yeah. But it's got a design like all the way around because it's like it's like an egg shape almost. Mm. So it's my yeah. eyes are bad. Keep that. Well, in it's mind. also a 2D game, so it does look entirely flat because there's no shadows <laughs> on that gray box. <laughs> yeah. Perhaps it's to be used in identification, of whatever it is a replica of. You mean whatever Miss Latouche was after? That seems to be the most logical explanation. Well, 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 what is it? Don't ask me for a line. Oh. If you don't want to tell us, you could just say so. I've put in a request to Interpol via my contacts in Virginia. But apparently there is a block on information somewhere along the chain. Huh? Something Interpol doesn't want to tell Virginia. Oh. Something about this little piece of plastic. Mr. Dews went through all that trouble to become Lamar's manager. Just to come to this country to find out more about this slum. And he died for it? Weird. Weird. I've sent someone to the Coliseum to fetch Lamar. Perhaps she knows something about it being a Virginian. Hmm. Hey, you, I need to set your guitar. Yeah. I need to set your hand on fire. <laughs> so, uh, don't mind me. I'm just going to, uh... What's good, Gavin, about this remote? Wait. Excuse me, did you say something? This remote control might be valuable ammunition for the trial tomorrow. It's too early to show my hand now. Yeah. You'd think someone with such a loud voice would speak more clearly, yeah? Oh, Sorry. Jesus. I'm gonna wait on that one then. Wait on it. I'm, I'm gonna check on this. Let me, uh... Ooh, it's uh -huh. pretty. Uh, yep. That's, uh, that's a thing. Uh, huh. Uh, spin... Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Does that say sample? I think so. Yeah, yeah. it says sample. Huh. Examine that. I guess it's just because it's showing it's a replica. Sample, huh? Think they put a big enough label on it? Maybe it's to keep people from eating it by mistake. Yes, they might think it was an otherwise tasty white lump of plastic. Maybe it's the manufacturer. Sample toys. We can't afford the real thing. Sounds like a company Mr. Red would like. <laughs> oh. Jesus. Okay, so we can't... It kind of looks like a freaking opal. Yeah. But like a plastic replica of an opal thing. I don't know. Okay, uh... Does it hurt you to see that? A little bit. <laughs> there's lightly... There's lightly scorch, and then there's this. It's burned clean through! Yep, it's pretty much just a piece of junk. It's kind of like you after a trial, Apollo. Ow! Which part? The burn clean through <laughs> or the useless piece of junk? Both. <laughs> Damn! Oh, that hurts, <laughs> pussy. Anything on the back here? Uh, not really. Nope. That's just you more sure? of the, that's just more of the charredness, yeah. Oh. That's yeah, that. No. Alright, well that's that. And <laughs> uh, uh I love Trucy so much. Can't read the newspaper, but that's that. With There's the his the picture twos. and yeah. her thing, yeah. Huh. Do you wanna talk about this headset? It looks like one of our tour issue headsets. Do you almost say tissue? <laughs> I think so. I don't <laughs> Why are you wearing it, Fraulein? I thought it'd be cool. I could pretend that was concert security and stuff. Actually, actually, I found out the venue and thought you might want it. Oh no, please, you keep it. It goes well with your cape, Fraulein. 
<laughs> you think? She does look like she belongs on a stage, that's for sure. Okay, that's that. Um, you let her how keep about the it. videotape that's of your cute. thing here? Now, apologies, there's no way I'm going to talk details about the case with you. If you want to get my attention, bring me something dramatic. Um. I'm not here to get your attention, Gavin. I'm here to get your information. Yeah. I've probably got all your information. Yeah. I don't really have anything new aside from this. I don't think he cares about this. Yeah, no, he nope. doesn't care about that. That's his not caring sound. Sound? Uh, yeah. The igniter? Has to be one of these. What is it, Apollo? That device I was found in your guitar. Take a look at this. Well, it looks like the same thing. What is it? It's an igniter. A another one? It was at the crime scene in Lamar's dressing room. Dr. Sky found it, actually. At the scene of the crime? What could that mean, I wonder? I believe that covers everything I'm at liberty to talk to you about. Oh. Thanks for dropping by. Air forehead. <laughs> Thanks. Why, well, it gave me so much information. That igniter, for instance. Oh. That. And that man attorney so forthcoming with the prosecution. It's a big help. God. Or perhaps you're just a tad naive, huh? I guess I could have hit it, but somehow showing it felt like the right thing. I can say the same to you, Prosecutor Gavin. Huh? Thanks for your information. Yeah. About the uh, strange lump of plastic. The one that Mr. Latouse was investigating. Hey, that's right. I've been thinking, Air Forehead. We encounter many incidents in our lives, all of us. Not all of them simple. Especially not the ones where people are killing the song lyrics. It's <laughs> real. That is why I try to at least remain simple inside. Simple man. And I keep a simple goal. To discover the truth. Simple Rick. Oh. Simple Rick's wafers. <laughs> That's why I like to keep relations civil. Yeah. Civil. That is all. I can live with that. Um, Mr. Prosecutor. Fraulein? Can I ask you why you sing in a band? Yeah. <laughs> because I want women to turn and look when I walk down the street. Uh, uh. That's pretty simple, too. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Another time, perhaps. I mean, he, Bye. with his looks, you probably wouldn't have to sing for that to happen. <laughs> Just say. Okay, um... He's not ugly. <laughs> no. Mr. Wright, you home? Nope. Not home. Well, he's never at home. He's always... Is the, is, is the hospital the, not an option anymore? No. Oh. These are our trees, the dentist. Oh, yeah, center, he's just... Gavin's office. He's just out and fucking about, just doing who God yeah. knows what. All right, back to the Coliseum of more shit's happening now. Oh, hi. Oh, it's you. You came at a good time. Hello there, Emma. What's up? Either of you know where Lamar is? Um, well, I saw her in the backstage hallway a while ago. Yeah? That's strange. What's strange? I can't find her anywhere. I was supposed to bring her to the prosecutor's office. Lamar's missing? It's hard to imagine her wandering off somewhere on her own. Being that she's, you know, blind and all. Yeah, we'll help you look for her. Great, thanks. You're welcome. Uh, well, I guess that's, uh, head on <clears throat> in the backstage hallway. Yeah. Hello? Lamar! Lamar! Hello? Hello? This place is deserted. Did my uncle kidnap her? Maybe. <laughs> I wonder where Lamar went off to. Well, I'm sure she's unquote, okay on her own. She uh, seems resourceful. Uh, adoptive uncle, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I guess, but I can't help but worry mm. about her a little. Yeah, I hear you. Um, are you sitting in Gavin's room? Because he likes you. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, getting out of there. Uh, Her dressing room. Probably not, but... Nope. No. Nope. Not there. Wait, can't we move? I mean, we can, but that's probably not going to change much. No. Here's my thing. Slide to the right. That nope. went nowhere. Oh, that's that uh. went that went twice. Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! Backstage hallway. Backstage hallway. Da 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 da. Going to the stage. Gotta move. Progress. Uh, why is it pitch black dark in here? Oh, we're in the wait. No, we're always in the mix. Why yeah, is it? it's I don't know. Uh, huh? The stage is pitch dark. The power breaker must be off for this section. Great. I'll go get someone. Yipes, it was really dark out there. Dark. That's all Lamar has when you think about Jesus. it. Jesus. <laughs> what would it be like to live in a world of darkness? 
Hey, Apollo. Huh? What? Does something about this stage seem different to you? Uh... Like, something's changed? Um... Changed? I can't put my finger on it, but it's bugging me. Now it's bugging me, too. What's she talking about? That's a good... Uh... Oh! No, never mind. The only thing I was looking at is that... But that guitar case wasn't different, I don't think. I mean... I think I I don't I don't what? know is it the is the tower thing gone still can't believe we found Maki and Mr. Latouse up there yeah it's not like high places now I hate them <laughs> it's not like it would have been nicer if we found a dead body closer to the ground though that reminds me daddy's bad with heights too huh no kidding he took me on a Ferris wheel wide. Ferris wheel wide. Okay. <laughs> Ferris wheel ride a while Ferris ago, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Halfway through, his face got all green and he mumbled objection over and over. Oh, God. <laughs> Poor guy. Okay, so it's not that area. The stage is. I can it, picture is it this case. I can see that. I can see. It is the case. Hey, that case. Wasn't that open before? Huh, I guess someone closed it. Wait, look. Where the case closes. There's a cloth. This case isn't closed, though. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Something's sitting out that doesn't look like an instrument. You don't think it's... Let's open it, Apollo. Lamar's dead body. Oh. Um. um. Eee! Lamar! Lamar! Emma, we have to get Emma. Jesus. Is she, is she dead? Lamar was taken directly to the hospital. Emma ran out, barking orders, making phone calls. Trisha just clung to my arm and cried. Oh my god. And me, I was still in shock. Two bodies in two days is too, too many. Good lord. Um, I was trying to make a joke. <laughs> well, it backfired. Um, apparently it was reality. Oops. Jesus. Emma, how's Lamar? Is she okay? He's not dead, right? Ah, you. We all owe you a big thanks, that's for sure. So, she's okay? Yes. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Jesus. She when came <laughs> She came to a short while ago. When you say bodies, Apollo, it makes them seem dirt. Right? Oh. You found her before it was too late. That, that's good to hear. So what happened? Someone attacked her. She was struck on the forehead. By who? We don't know. But they hit her on the forehead, right? It's right in front of her. How could she not? Uh... <laughs> right. <laughs> Would you like to see her now? Is that alright? She wants to thank you for saving her life. Okay. Jesus. Girl, are you okay? Way more! <laughs> ah, Mr. Attorney. You were the one who found me? Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I I'm just glad you're okay. Tell me, what happened? <sighs> oh God! Okay, uh, let's let's talk about you being attacked. It was after I spoke with you in front of the dressing room. I sent someone approaching. You I thought might it might be, be someone come. <laughs> what? Uh, I'm just saying that's who that's who was that's who probably attacked her. That's the only person oh. I can think of. <laughs> okay. Someone was coming to see her. <laughs> you might be a magician if you no uh. no. I thought it might be someone come to see me, but they said nothing. <laughs> when I went to return to my dressing room... You were hit? I knew that very moment. I knew the assailant was trying to kill me. Unfortunately, we can't account for Darian either, but I think that's the, the point is to make him be a suspect still. Yeah. But, oh Jesus. Ah! It was lucky for me the first blow did not knock me out. I turned and ran for the stage. Someone was chasing me. I could hear footsteps. Yet I reached the stage first. Why the stage? I had overheard maintenance people talking. The power to the stage area was off, they said, for electrical work. Ah! Darkness is my ally. There was a contrabass case near the stage. That is where I hid. So the assailant couldn't see you. Once in the case, I'm afraid I passed out. Wow, that sounds like a really close call. For real. What do you What do you think about the assailant? You know. Yeah. <laughs> you have any idea who might have been? Who it might have been? 
Unfortunately, no. Whoever it was, they said not a word. Too bad. Yet, when I consider that I was struck high on the forehead, I must conclude that whoever hit me was taller than I am. Good point. She's sharp. And you're much taller than I am. You're about as tall as Apollo. So that means it was likely an adult and probably a man. Could it be him? <sighs> but why would anyone attack you, Lamar? The detective asked me this too. And to her I gave the same answer I give you. I do not know. Hmm. Man, uh... her, uh, her, Trucy's dad's friend isn't looking too good right now. I thought, do you know what this rep, oh, you probably don't know what this is, you're blind. <laughs> she can uh, feel it. Lumer, I wanted to ask you about this. Do you know what this is? This, this is what? Miss Latouse was carrying it. It's a replica of the thing he was after. He was after? You know, in his secret identity. As an undercover agent. Yeah, that whole thing, he wasn't actually a manager. Ha 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 ha. So that's what he was doing. You mean, you know what? Yes, I know, of course. This must be... A Virginian cocoon. The fuck? Or rather, a convincing replica thereof. Why haven't I heard of a Virginian cocoon before? Why would he be carrying this around? Was it some kind of souvenir? I wonder. You, you, you want you want to talk about that? You want to talk? Yeah, let's talk about the Virginian What's cocoon. What's a Virginian cocoon? <laughs> well, they call it Virginian. It must only be found in Virginia. <coughs> Sorry. For certain, all in Virginia know of these. It's a cocoon, so do you get silk from it? I do not know the details, I am sorry to say. I thought she said all in Borgini knew of these. There is one fact I do know about the cocoon, though. Something all in Borginia know. What's that? The cocoons, they are not to be taken out of the country. If someone does and is caught, they will be put to death. To death Why? I do not know. Yet, if Interpol was involved, I'm sure there is a good reason. But this is just a piece of plastic! He was carrying a replica, but looking for the real deal. That's my best guess. So, that's what he was up to? It's almost as if a magician could, you know, walk up someplace and make one quote-unquote disappear and take it back out of the country. <sighs> Anyways, track it down Virginia and cocoon smuggling. <laughs> smuggling? Smuggling. Smuggling. It seems I was marked. Marked? Life changed for me when the popularity of my with with the popularity of my songs. I began to travel the world around it. <laughs> Jesus, I keep <laughs> skipping words. You're fine. Uh, ah! So you could have brought those Virginia cocoons with you. On my trips, yes. That was probably the suspicion. Uh, and Miss Latus was placed as an undercover agent to look into it. Whoa, are you okay? Yes, I am. <laughs> Virginia is a small, sheltered country. Gotta give those Apollo voice cracks. <laughs> Not many of our people venture into the world outside. Even though he's 22, I think. <laughs> is that why they suspected you? But Mr. Latus wasn't a Virginian, was he? He was an Interpol agent, which means... What, Apollo? Well, there must have been some reason other countries didn't want the cocoons out. Something scary enough to get Interpol involved. Huh? Like what? How could such a tiny ball of thread cause such a commotion? Cocoon smuggling? And Mrs. Tooth had Lamar marked. Huh. As a suspect. It couldn't be her. Huh? There's one other person I need to talk to. They were talking to us, Lamar. It was the least I could do. Actually, I have another question. Request. <laughs> if it is within my power. I need an interpreter. Someone who speaks Virginian. Oh. Apollo? Would you come with us if you were well enough? I see. Yes, yes, of course. I shall accompany you. Huh? Where are we going? Come on, Trucy. We're about to get to the bottom of this. Oh, dang. I already know where the- Yup. They just put us right in the detention center. So we're not looking oh. for proof that he can speak English. We're <laughs> looking for a way to talk to him, and we found it. Yeah. God. Maki? We came to talk to you about the case. Maki. <laughs> What's he so stressed about? You know what? 
We'll find out next time. Oh boy! Hopefully oh, this gonna get good. I know. Like, think you can see the the guy in the back thinking like, "Oh sh." He's like, "Oh sh." I see some shit go down in this <laughs> building, but goddamn, this is gonna be a good day of work. <laughs>